We can now automate Tapu cameras after TP-Link introduces few updates on the Tapu app. Let's say if the camera detects a person, it can turn on the Tapu light strip automatically. Please join me in scrutinizing these updates. Subscribe first to this channel if you haven't yet. Aside from the home and profile tabs, the Tapu app has three new tabs, cameras, vacuums, and smart. Under the cameras tab, the current mode of the cameras is shown. It says detection mode, and you can now set your status whether you're at home or away. Tapping home mode will show your present setting while away mode is the default set by Tapu, which you can change, of course. You'll be prompted that all cameras are set to home or away mode. This tab also displays the live streaming of your installed cameras. Each of the screen has details of your camera, including its last activity, like detections. Tapping the play button displays the live streaming of the video from the cameras. Tapping it again will display stop button at the center and also displays again the manage button and the speaker mute button. Tapping manage button will bring you to the control page of the camera. Another new tab is dedicated to Tapo robot vacuum cleaners. The biggest addition is smart tab where it displays routine actions that Tapo set. Routine shortcuts include settings like leave home, arrive home, go to bed, etc. While routine automation includes actions like turning on the light at sunset and turn on the light to simulate sunrise. To create your own shortcut, tap the shortcuts tab, press add shortcuts, add action. You may set delay for action according to your needs. The action includes enabling and disabling automation or control tapo devices. Other tapo devices like smart bulbs, plugs, and others may appear here. If you open any of the cameras, the only action available is privacy mode, which gives you option for your shortcuts either enable or disable privacy mode. I chose enable and tap done. Tap next and you will be prompt to name your shortcut and select the appropriate icon for the shortcut. Tap done. Your privacy button can be found on the shortcuts tab. The privacy mode button also appears on the home page for easy access. For creating your own automation, tap Add Automation, Add Trigger. You may set the time for the task and choose the trigger device. Add action and choose what actions to be done. Run a shortcut, enable and disable automation or control Tapo devices. You can also delay action for automation. Tap next and name your automation. There's a switch button to activate this automation. I'm going to use your cameras as your triggering device. Let's say my front yard camera. So there's only one uh, option is to choose the event detected. So I choose, for example, person, not motion, because motion on top of cameras are always there. <laughs> okay. So I choose person detected. Then click done. Then choose action. Your actions, again, are limited to run a shortcut, enable or disable an automation, and control other devices. For now, I only have cameras, so I have no other choices. But uh, if, if you uh, open any of the cameras, the only action it can do is uh, privacy mode. So you need to maybe buy other type of devices so that you can... Uh, uh, automate it using the camera detection as your triggering uh, action. Just recently, I bought a light strip from Tapo and added it to the app and use it for automation with Tapo cams. Okay, I'll try um, automation here. Press smart. Let's make another automation. Add. Uh, add. Automation. Trigger is the camera. Trigger device, front yard camera, event detected, let's say most person detection. Okay, done. Then action is control tapo devices, tapo light strip, turn on to default state. Okay. Then you can set the uh, duration, let's say um, one minute only. Or 30 seconds. Let's say 30 seconds. Done. You can also delay action. Um, set brightness to 50%.
daylight okay i have it next person de detected oh effective time uh, i'll put it on always in the meantime for testing purposes and the light strip turns on every time the tapo camera detects a person in the meantime watch out for a separate video on my review about the tapo light strip l900 also tapo adds a switch button for the spotlight of capable cameras like the c310 and c320 ws i have a previous video about this please check the link above in my previous videos, I'd mentioned that Tapo has no automation, especially its cameras. Now, TP-Link addresses that issue, although automation rules and actions are still limited. But I'm sure Tapo is working for its improvements, and let's wait for any developments. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell for you not to miss any update. Dengan selamat, aku si Jun Tariman, Hightech, bye!